Hi, hey, hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I would like to talk about this book and this book. I would like to talk about this series. So, I am not the best at trying to explain things in general, but I've been having such a hard time trying to figure out how to explain this series the best that I can without, you know, spoiling the whole thing, which, I mean, it can happen, but I do try to not do that, so, you know. So let's just hold up this book because we start with this book, so why not? And it's such a glary one. So Celia and her best friend Anya are inklings for the esteemed religion of Propheta, where they use tattoo magic. And that is basically where they tattoo or draw on themselves and then their blood is the ink. They do this to give followers of Propheta divine images to, you know, guide them in life. So being an inkling is considered a very noble calling where basically families would just give their children away to the church or whatever. But now 10 years on, they know the truth. Propheta is a lie. And the tattoos they are ordered to send out to people um they, they take away people's free will their freedom the revered temple is uh, basically uh actually a brutus tortuous prison because why would it be a house of worship where you could have a prison so obviously they escape and you know join a circus because that's what we do when we escape from the church so it's really a traveling theater troupe, but you know, the circus. <laughs> so while traveling with this troupe, they use their inkling abilities to make it a performance rather than, you know, propaganda. But of course, of course, of course, all is not well. Of course not, because that would be too easy. So the divine that they never believed in, um, is in fact real, very real, and also very angry. Ooh. And then we move on to book number two, where we are in a completely different setting to the first one. So in the first one, we are, you know, traveling with the circus, and this one, we are basically in a very, very magical town. But again, there are mysteries and, you know, deities to be conquered and so on and so, so forth. Um, also, you know, we find out a bit more about what this religion is, why, how, why, how it came to be the way it is. Um, and then it's the end, obviously, because it's, it's a duology. So these give so many different vibes. You get like the Night Circus, Caraval, you even get a bit of like Six of Crow vibes going on. However, it's very different. It's also very original in a way, especially with the tattoo magic and so on. <laughs> in a whole, we have a very short like introduction to what this religion what this world is in the beginning of book one I would have liked there to be a tiny bit more or a tiny bit more detail because everything was very vague as to what what professor was it was more that these are the characters this is the place they are in right now but it's a bad place so let's escape. Um, that's a rough, very, very rough summarization of what the first little part in book one was. However, the book does take off once they reach this circus, the traveling theater troupe. And I mean, the whole story is that. So yeah, I mean, the fun part is there, but you know, Tiny bit more detail, tiny bit more. 
can hurt, can hurt. Not that we don't like understand what it is, but it's very vague. It's very like, very summarized, very vague, very summarized. That is the same thing. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's very short and I would probably have liked to have a, just a few more details. A few more. Then we will move on to book number two after having, you know, conquered book one. <laughs> I say that like it's a massive ordeal to read book one. It's not. It's a very, very easy read. So is book two, by the way. But book two takes place in a completely different setting. The setting being a very, very magical town. I mean, the circus was quite magical, but it was traveling. It was traveling around, going its own way, and the town is very much... I mean, it's set there, but also it may not be set there. <laughs> so, as far as the two books in the duology, I feel like they are different stories. They're different books, different stories. The only thing that's like following from book one to book two are the characters and you know the very thin spread of why they are there in the in this town so i'm not entirely convinced i needed two books in this duology in this series um they could have very very easily stood as two different books had there been more like a backstory in book two as to what the the characters are and what they're doing it, it could have been two books that's what i'm saying because the stories feel like they're different they're the same but they're different does that make sense i think i just confused myself but yeah they were very fun very easy very original um quite fast paced not like rushed in or anything like that but very it flows it flows very well i guess that's the best way to say it um i did enjoy myself i did um i also could have probably lived without having read them but that's that's a completely different thing i do think they have very stunning covers very cool yeah that is my very weird very all over the place summarization of these books hope you enjoyed thank you so much for watching i shall see you all next time until then take care oh, bye bye